Short Story 104 The Case of the Missing Manuscript Chapter 2 Whispers in the Stacks The weight of the letter felt heavy in Clara's hand, its secrets burning through the thin paper. Sleep had been a distant dream, replaced by hushed discussions and frantic search. Sarah, fueled by a newfound determination, had unearthed details about the hidden society mentioned in the letter. Whispers of their influence reaching back centuries. The name sent shivers down Clara's spine. The Obsidian Order. Their bookstore, once a haven for bibliophiles, had become a makeshift war room. Maps littered the counter, tracing potential meeting points mentioned in the letter. Newspaper clippings, yellowed with age, spoke of unsolved disappearances, each with an eerie connection to the order. We can't stay here, Sarah declared, her voice tight with urgency. They'll come for the letter. Clara, ever the pragmatist, countered, but where can we go? We have no proof, no allies. A knock on the door, sudden and sharp, shattered the fragile calm. Fear turned their blood to ice. Who could it be at this hour? Cautiously, Cutclaw appeared through the peephole. Relief washed over her as she recognised a familiar face. Mr Davies, an elderly gentleman and regular customer. But the glint of worry in his eyes sent a fresh wave of unease. Clara, he whispered urgently, they're asking about you. Men in suits, searching every corner. You need to leave, now. His words confirmed their worst fears. The order was moving fast and their bookstore was no longer safe. With a heavy heart, Clara made this decision. She would disappear, vanishing into the labyrinth alleyways behind the bookstore. Their only guide, the flickering gaslight and the pounding of their hearts. The night swallowed them whole, the damp air thick with the scent of rain and exhaust fumes. Every rustle, every creak sent their nerves on edge. Sarah clutched the letter closer, its secrets their only weapon against the unseen enemy. They found refuge in an abandoned warehouse, its cavernous space echoing with the stories of forgotten dreams. Huddled in a corner, exhaustion finally claimed them, sleep offering a temporary escape from the looming danger. Dawn arrived, painting the dusty windows with streaks of orange, with renewed resolve, they delved deeper into the letter's cryptic message. A symbol etched in faded ink caught their eye. An owl with outstretched wings perched atop a stack of ancient books. The library, Sarah gasped, recognition dawning. The symbol. It's the crest of the city's oldest library, rumoured to hold secrets from forgotten times. Hope flickered in Clara's chest. The library with its labyrinths, stacks and hidden corners, could be the perfect place to decipher the letter and expose the order's secrets. But venturing into the lion's den was the risk they had to take. Thus began their covert operation, a race against time and the ever-present threat of the order. Disguised and on edge, they infiltrated the library, its hushed halls radiating an air of forgotten knowledge each creaking floorboard, each whispered word, felt amplified in the silence. Following the symbol's guidance, they navigated hidden passages and dusty tomes, finally reaching a secluded chamber. An inscription above the doorway sent shivers down their spines. Seek not wisdom, lest it consume you. Taking a deep breath, they pushed open the creaking door stepping into a realm of forgotten lore. The chamber, bathed in the soft glow of hidden lamps, housed ancient texts, their leather bindings whispering stories of the past. As they delved deeper, a chilling realisation dawned upon them. The Order wasn't just protecting secrets, they were manipulating them, rewriting history for their own gain, and the letter held the key to unravelling their web of lies. Their search was abruptly cut caught short by a chilling voice echoing through the chamber. So, the little mice have found their way to the cheese. Emerging from the shadows stood two figures, their faces obscured by the darkness. 
the symbol of the owl gleamed on their lapels, confirming their worst fears. The order had found them. With hearts pounding, Claire and Sarah knew they had stumbled upon a truth far more dangerous than they imagined. The final chapter of their story was being written, and the ending remained hanging in the balance. Would they expose the order and rewrite history, or would they become another forgotten secret buried within the library's dusty walls? To be continued. Vocabulary notes. Setting the scene. Makeshift war room. A temporary place used for planning and strategizing. Labyrinth alleyways. Complex and confusing alleyways like a maze. Gaslight. Flickering lights fueled by gas, common in the past. Cavernous space. Huge and empty space. Flickering glasslight. Unstable and unsteady light from gas lamps. Labyrinth stacks. Bookshelves arranged in a confusing and maze-like way. Lion's Den, a dangerous place like a lion's habitat. Covert Operation, a secret mission. Infiltrated, entered secretly. Hushed halls, quiet and silent hallways. Creaking floorboards, an old floorboard that makes a noise when stepped on. Lest it consume you, warning that seeking wisdom can be dangerous. Leather bindings, covers of book made from animal skin. Web of lies, a network of untruths and deceptions. Chilling voice, a voice that makes you feel cold and scared. Lapels, the folded over parts of a jacket or coat. Key characters and their actions. Pragmatist, someone who is practical and focuses on solving problems in a realistic way. Unease, a feeling of worry and discomfort. Pounding of their hearts, their hearts beating fast and loudly due to fear or excitement. Huddled in a corner, sitting close together in a small space for protection. Dawn arrived, the first light of the day appeared. Renewed resolve, a new determination to succeed. Delved deeper, investigated further. Creaking door, an old door that makes a noise when opened. Amplified, made louder and more noticeable. Guidance, direction and help. Secluded chamber, a hidden room. Inscription, words carved into something. Unraveled, discovered and revealed the truth. Cut short, suddenly stopped. Emerging from the shadows, coming out of a dark place. Lapels, see above. Stumbled upon, accidentally found. Hanging in the balance, uncertain and undecided. Figurative language, flickering gaslight. This phrase suggests instability and uncertainty. Lion's Den. This metaphor compares the library to a dangerous place. Web of Lies. This metaphor portrays the Order's actions as complex and deceitful. Pounding of their hearts. This simile describes their fear and excitement. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Adobe Firefly AI. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a meaningful comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.